Hi everyone, the maximum matching problem can be solved by uh, using the Ford Fulkerson algorithm. Uh, here, uh, the Ford Fulkerson algorithm is applying to the undirected bifurcate graph which is having set of vertices V and set of edges E. Right? It can be solved by using the polynomial time uh, complexity. Uh, here, for solving the bifurcate uh, graph, for finding ma maximum matching, we have to construct the uh, flow network using the Ford Fulkerson algorithm. Then, flow network will have set of vertices that is represented as a V dash and a set of edges that is, that is represented as a E dash for the a bifurcate graph which is represented as G. Right here, uh, we have to add uh, new vertices, uh, shores, and uh, sink for the given problem statement for uh, that is bifurcate graph. Then uh, we can say that source and sink which are not available in the given set of vertices v comma e. For for example, you see uh, the subset v1 uh, a b c d e five vertices available. Subset v2 we are having five vertices one two three four five. Now we can say capital V equal to a comma b comma c comma d e one two three four five. So this is the uh, uh, given set of vertices. Now when you are uh, making the uh, flow network that flow network will have set of vertices like source yes then all vertices which are available uh, in the uh, bifurcate graph then another one new vertex t so here the t is the sink s is the source we have to add those vertices to construct the flow network that's what we are saying here right v dash equal to here we can we can say v dash equal to here uh, the v right this one v union of s comma t right so that's what you see we are adding uh, two vertices s and t with vertices which are available in v right then we can say uh, that uh, partition of the graph G which is having set of vertices you look at that L union of R that that's the thing so this subset is called L which is having five five vertices and here R is another subset which is having uh, five vertices so here we can say L union of r is having set of vertices v right that's what we are saying here and the directed edges of the g dash so here g dash in the sense we are going to establish the flow network g dash right uh, which are the edges of set of edges e which are available in the uh, given graph here you see these are the edges the, these are the edges which are going to use in the g dash okay that's what we are saying the g dash will have the e dash set of edges which are directed from left to right you see we are passing from left to right right left is the uh, one subset and right is another subset that's what we are saying along with the new directed edges so new directed edges here we are going to use uh, from s to uh, c a b like that and from the all vertices from the right side to uh, destination uh, vertex t so based upon that we will construct a flow network from the given bifurcate matching that process is called transformation by applying the um, uh, flow net i mean um, ford fulkerson algorithm so here uh, we have to apply the Ford Fulkerson algorithm to the given bifurcate graph. So, for that, we are going to use these steps. These steps are given in the next slide step by step. So, first, we are going to uh, check the bifurcate graph. The bifurcate graph is having set of 
vertices in the subset L and another subset is R is having uh, 5 vertices. Now these edges are making as a directed edges. So previously which are given as a undirected edges you see here undirected edges are given. Now we are going to make as a directed edges because in the flow network we are going to use only the forward direction. Okay we are not going to use the backward direction right. That's why we are making that undirected graph into directed uh, bifurcate graph. Then now uh, we are making that into flow network network right so for flow network first step is we have to add new vertices s and t s should be in the left side t should be in the right side so i am adding uh, s in the left side and uh, t in the right side then i am adding the edges from s to all the vertices in the l subset so you see the subset l is having five vertices a b c d e then i am making the connection between s to a s to b s to c s to d s to e that's what add edges edge from the s to every vertex in the subset l like that we are going to uh, make a uh, uh, edge okay edge from the every vertex in r to t so this is the subset r okay the, so we are having five vertices from all the vertices every vertex of r uh, to t we are making the connection to uh, that is called edges right after that here we have to add edge weight okay we have to add the weight or capacity for making the uh, flow network right flow network maximum flow network so here we have to add the capacity that capacity uh, not given in the bifurcate graph so we are going to add that capacity as a one so here you see for all the edges i am adding the capacity value as one right for all the edges in the flow network so after that I have to apply the Ford Fulkerson algorithm uh, to this graph. You see, this structure is now looking as a, a flow network. Okay, so first uh, task is bifurcate graph is transforming into flow network. Okay, that is done now. All right, that is done now. After that, we have to apply the Ford Fulkerson algorithm to identify the max flow. So here, uh, flow is called as a matching. Okay, flow is uh, mapping uh, with the word matching. So now identifying the flow. So here, uh, flow max flow in the sense here we have to identify the path from source to uh, destination sync through this was vertices from two subsets based upon that here i am identifying now the path first path s to a then here a, a is having two options one is the uh, one is uh, here another subset and here two right two options are available in this i am selecting the option 1 if i am selecting the option 1 then i will get s2 a2 1 2 t right then i am selecting the uh, second vertex from uh, uh, people that is b then i am selecting this path b then b is having only one option so only one option is there that is already already have the flow already have the flow so here you see when you are adding this flow the incoming flow is two but outgoing is only one so we cannot match this we cannot match this then what we have to do we have to update the previous flow we have to update the previous flow the previous flow is having two options right one more option is available then i i am going to use s2 a a2 2 2 2 t among these two options i am uh, avoiding the first option i am going to select the second option right so in the second option if i if, if i use then i can use the uh, b and b2 1 and 1 2 t so this is another matching so this matching is possible so you see when i am using the 2 as a matching for the a then we can use one is for matching b right if you are not doing like this then uh, this matching is not possible b cannot be matched with anyone so here we we are trying to maximize the matching 
right we can match with any vertex but we should maximize the matching right if you match the a with one then this is not possible so to avoid that we are matching the a with two then b with one so like that when we are matching so you see a s2 a a2 2 2 2 t so one matching is done right one flow as per the uh, uh, ford fulkerson algorithm this is one flow right so flow number one equal to one now then i am going to check another possibility now so s2 b b2 1 1 2 t so that is doing now so based upon that here flow number two which is also having one capacity right all the capacity is of one and then i am checking uh, the uh, here i am checking the another possibility the c okay so when you are when i am checking the c you look at that c is having again two options okay c is having two options in that two is already uh, shared with flow that means the shared with a so i cannot use this path only op only available option is here three so then i am using the s2 c2 3 2 t right so based upon that here i am getting the flow here one then i am going uh, with another iteration in the another iteration here i am selecting the d so in the d i am having three options okay option number one two three then here the uh, option number one is having three but it is already shared with previous iteration uh, node c so it is not possible then i am having two more options in that two four and five available if i am selecting the five then uh, we will get the path s2 d2 5 to t right then uh, we will get the flow value 1 then another iteration e for e only one option is there so we cannot use this path so what we have to do we have to update the previous path here so when you are using this one by avoiding this path then you will get s2 d2 uh, 4 to t this is having now value 1 and at the same time for the e you can use e2 5 to t right so s2 e2 5 to t so now we are maximized the values if you use uh, d to 5 then our maximum value will be uh, smaller so now we are uh, maximizing the value one more count right so like that we have to update the matching so when by updating the d with the 4 then i am getting the one more flow so now my flow is now 4 okay so this one this one and this one this one 4 then i am going with the next iteration s2 e2 5 so another flow so by finally we got maximizing flow is Five, that is the matching okay here we identified maximum matching by using the flow value uh, by applying the uh, ford fulkerson algorithm so here the maximum matching for this given problem is five so finally uh, we got the a solution based upon this algorithm we added the new vertices that 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 is s and t then we added the edge uh, uh, that means this is l this is r we added the edges from the left subset to s right subset to r then we made the capacity of all the edges one we solved that problem by using the uh, ford fulkerson algorithm we found the maximum flow that maximum flow is the maximum matching so here we found the edges e dash so these edges right so s comma u you see uh, this is yes okay subset here you look at that uh, this is yes then this is called u right so these edges are belonging to here u is belonging to subset l then like that here union of u comma v this uh, this right u is this one the v is this one right so u comma v here uh, these are belonging to edges already these edges okay are having this bifurcate edges right e1 e2 etc right e1 e2 like that so these are all available from the edges then union of v comma t right v comma t here 
t is the vertex v is from the subset r like that you look at that v belongs to r t is the separate vertex so here we got the set of edges which are which are giving you the maximum matching so as per the algorithm uh, by using the ford fulkerson uh, method we found the maximum matching from the bifurcate graph thanks for watching